What's up everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dragonborn. This may very well be the final episode, it depends how long this takes, and if it is, sad face. I know, I know. But as I mentioned before, as soon as we're done here, we are going to begin a modded questline that looks pretty badass. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but I checked it out briefly and it looks really good. And apparently we have a black book here to deal with. I see you, Magic Potion, you're mine. Oh, it's over encumbered me. You have betrayed me, Magic Potion. I'm already going to have to dump some shit on Jazago, aren't I? Back. Come here, buddy. I've got some stuff for you. So much room to carry things. It will follow. <laughs> I gave him a chef hat and now he looks utterly ridiculous, just as he should do. Right, let's check out the rest of this place and then we will be ready to head into the magical world of Apocrypha once more. You see what I mean about Storm always being on dead bodies? I'm not sure what the lore is behind that, but it's kind of interesting. What the hell did that do? Oh! Okay. Come along, Josaga, we have adventuring to do. And yes, we've lost Overbear again, but that's no surprise, is it? Right, so where the hell are we now? Oh, we're out here! Okay! Ah, uh, that was that grate that I saw, and I said I didn't think he'd done anything, but apparently it does. Well, now we know better. Right, so I think we are missing the gauntlet and possibly a helm. I can't remember if we got a helm or not, but I know we got the boots and the chest plate. So I'm going to search around and I'll bring it back in when I find something new. Okay, so the only thing I can find that we haven't done yet is this here that's next to Azidal. And there's the helm in there. Right. But I still don't know what we're actually supposed to do here. Because I still don't see any visual indication what we're supposed to do with the, uh, the spinny pillar things. Ooh, it's some storeroom. Yummy. So I guess I'm just going to try random combinations until one of them actually works, and I'll bring you back in when it does. Okay, apparently it was two snakes. I have no idea why, but I'll take it. I see you there, Mr. Trap. I don't think so. Give me my helm. Helm of vision. Oh, good lord, we're getting the crap kicked out of us. Jizargo, if you could get out the doorway, buddy. That would be really helpful. Become uh, Etherall. There we go. Right, let's check out what the helm does and then we will put it on Jazago. By the way, that's what the mask does. Yeah. Your conjuration and rune spells cost 25% more, but can be cast at a greater range. Kinda dull, but that's okay. Right, let's put the helm on him. It saddens me that he's not going to wear the chef hat anymore, but say la vie, we need the space. His legs look silly. You look positively ridiculous, Jazago. Just the way I like it. Right, anyway, let's go see if we can find the gloves. I have absolutely no idea where they are, though. I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere. Okay, I've been everywhere, and I really have no idea where the gloves are, so we're just going to go back into the magical world of Apocrypha. Ooh, it looks like one of the dark ones. Cool. Started Black Book Filament and Filgrimate. Learn the Black Book's hidden knowledge. Alrighty then, I will do it just for you. Why am I over encumbered now? What the hell happened? Oh, it's the book, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Right, what can we chuck away? Uh, let's just throw some soul gems. Get out of here. There we go. We, we don't need them. We don't need them. Right, let's continue. Must protect myself with light. Ooh, what's that? More soul gems? I'll take it! Yes, I just threw some away and now I'm picking them back up. What of it? Right, we have a gate and a switch. I wonder how we open the gate! Oh my god! Complex dungeoneering. I spies a lurker lurking over there in the do My arrows have gone floppy again. Apparently that hits him. Well, alright then. I think my arrows need some Viagra, quite frankly. Do your arrows have an erection problem? Then use Viagra today. Call 555, limp no more. Holy crap, that is a lot of red dots. Just spam fire and hope for the best. Oh god, big boy's coming. Big boy's coming. Right, get out of here. Back up, back up, back up. Whoa, nearly died. Okay, what's the matter, buddy? You stuck, are you? Oh, what a shame. Die. That's right, on your knees and beg me for mercy. And you, buddy. Boom, son! That is the crappest kill cam I've ever seen. Couldn't see anything. It was kind of cool, though. 
Right, so what's around? Ooh, tentacle, tentacle of doom. Okay. Don't mess with the tentacles of doom. They are called the tentacles of doom for a reason. Anyway, since we're in Apocrypha and not a whole hell of a lot is going on right now, let's just go over Dragonborn very quickly. I believe the only really significantly interesting quest that we have left is called the Ebony Warrior. And as far as I know, you need to be level 80 for that to begin. We're not level 80. I think the max level is 81, and we are a hell of a long way off of that. So the only way I could really do that is to just cheat my character up to level 80, play through it, record it, and then reload an older save after that, you know, just so it's on video for you guys to see. So I may or may not do that. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's the only one we've got left as far as I know. And I'm trying to get... Oh, God. I'm trying to get this guy near the edge so I can freeze him off, but he's not cooperating. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Will you stop dicking around? You're stuck on you. You incompetent boob. You can't even die properly. Ouch. Apparently I can. Oh, come on. Are you seriously not going to timber? Wow. I want a refund. I want a freaking refund on that shout. And he's immune to fire. Was it always immune to fire? Have I not noticed that? And ice does like nothing. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be using the bow then, because screw trying to melee that dude. He'll beat the shit out of me, and he is anyway. Good God. Don't make me go beast mode on your ass, because I will do it, and you will regret it, sir. He takes decent damage from the bow. The problem is he gets near me too fast and then beats the living snot out of me, and I have to retreat. Right. He's almost half dead. Let's try the crossbow, shall we? In the skull. I'll kick you in the skull. Yes, that's, that's doing the trick. Okay, just stay away from him, bro. Just die, okay? Just freaking die. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he's coming to me. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Man, he comes so close to one-shotting me every single time. I kind of crap myself a little bit. Ah, you missed. You're terrible. Just terrible. Don't spit at me. That's disgusting. Oh, finally. Just die. Okay. Oh, hey, we get the black book. Amazing. That was incredibly quick. Considering, like, three minutes was fighting that dude. This took, like, five minutes to get here? Wow. Okay. What's over there? I don't know. Right, we have a vessel and our black book. What's in the vessel? What's in the box? Not bad stuff. We'll just take the money because, you know, over encumbrance and all that. Completed black book filament and filigrament. What do I get? What do I get? Give me my reward. I'm excited. What do we get? Take your time. We have Secret of Arcana, Secret of Strength, and Secret of Protection. You take half damage for 30 seconds. Spells cost no magic for 30 seconds. Nice, that, that's pretty good. And Power Attacks cost no stamina for 30 seconds. We will definitely take the magic one, because that sounds very, very useful indeed, if nothing else, because then that means we might be able to use things like Kundrash Guardian that normally we wouldn't have enough magic for, and I believe we don't have any Heartstones on us. So we can probably summon one now and then beat the crap out of it, and that would be kind of fun. Are you aggressive? Yes, you certainly are. Right. Let's beat up our Ash Guardian, shall we? Wow. Apparently it's gonna beat me up. Okay. Let's go, buddy. You and me, mano a mano. Or, you know, Ash Guardian versus Orc. And I'm gonna heal like a cheating scumbag, because apparently you hurt like hell. Jesus. Man, these things will be very, very handy to summon, because if it's beating the shit out of me, it should beat the shit out of the enemies. And I like that. Jesus Christ, man. I can barely heal quick enough. Hey, we got a restoration level. Die! Okay, the Ash Guardian is down, and we can loot it, but it has nothing. Cool! That is a very useful spell. Right, let us return to Solstheim. I will give one more quick check around the tomb for the gauntlets, and if I can't find them, then screw it, we will just move along. Okay, I still can't find those goddamn gauntlets. Apparently all the campsite stuff's gone. Interesting. Well, anyway, I have a request to read through the journals that Radicetter has left. We already read the last one, but uh, we have a few others, so I'm going to go through those, and then I'll probably cheat my character up to level 80, fight the Ebony Warrior, and then we'll end the video there. The Journal of Rather Setter is Volume 19. Moving on to Solstein next, chasing after vague rumors of this Corbion Barrow. My patron seems confident we can find the relics of Azidal out here. I'm a bit skeptical, but as long as he pays well, I dig wherever the old coot lacks. Initial prospects look poor to say the least. I was sure I had my map wrong at first until it became clear that the place had just been lost to the ash. 
I'll dig out as much as I can. Maybe if I can recruit some of the local residents to help me out. I haven't seen anyone since I got out of Ravenrock, but I keep hearing conversations and whispers around me, so I just need to track them down. Okay, so in his very first journal entry, he is already going batshit insane, and if I keep getting this bug where I can't scroll down after reading a book, I'm gonna go batshit insane as well. Right, the Journal of Relicidary is volume 20. This excavation is going to be one of the harder ones, I can tell. I hired some diggers out of Ravenrock. They all said they were experienced miners, but I guess they're not used to running into trouble as they dig. In a place like this, you never know what was buried long ago and have to be ready for whatever you come across. In any case, there were some unfortunate losses when the Sleeping Dead weren't quite sleeping and weren't quite dead either. Operation is stalled unless my friendly partner is able to find enough coin for us to hire some replacements. Maybe it's time to take up a new hobby like fishing or football. Maybe it's time to take up a collection from the constant spectators who gather to mock me. Those bastards. Right, number 21, if I can ever open my freaking book. Volume 21, my invisible friends have kept it up, drawing closer. It took me a while to realize they were hiding themselves, but I figure it's out of shame. It takes a certain type of cowardice to spend all your time questioning a man's worth and value. You'd think they'd at least have the decency to let me sleep, but they persist, even there. As for the dig, we continue to stall out with the opposition from within the barrow. I had hoped the hardy people of this island would be able to deal with the shuffling bones, but I appear to have overestimated them. I won't make that mistake again. Meh, 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 meh. He's become an evil genius already. Okay, the Journal of Rattacetteries, Volume 22. If it weren't for the comfort brought by my invisible friend, I would have fled this place long ago. I wish I had realized earlier that it was not a group, but a master of disaster who contains multitudes. He's guided me into a true understanding of the Barrow, and I greatly desire to meet with him. My insight into this place is now so intuitive, so fundamental, that I almost feel as if I built it myself. I explained to the workers how to use the tile set, but they seem too afraid or uncoordinated to probably step on each tile quickly enough. No problems. Nothing the Master of Desire- Oh, hey. Nothing that the Master cannot solve. We will be able to conserve properly soon enough. Cool! Right, so we read number 23, that was the one where he went completely and utterly batshit insane. Okay, I'm gonna go cheat my character up to level 80 so that we can fight the Ebony Warrior, and I will see you once that's done. The time has come. It has? What do you mean? I have done all that can be done. There is nothing left. No quests to be undertaken, no villains to be slain, no challenges to face. Except for you. You are my last challenge. Only you can send me to Sovngarde with honor. Make your preparations. When you're ready, come find me at my last vigil. Okay, cool. So he has challenged us to a duel. Right, it says a warrior in Ebony Mail approached me in Whiterun. He has challenged me to fight him at his last vigil, wherever the balls that may be. It's a good question, though. It's over there. Right, I'm going to travel from here and I'll see you when we are close. Okay, we're basically there, and unless I'm mistaken, he's beating the living shit out of an ice troll like a complete badass. <laughs> what the hell is this? I have no idea. So yeah, anyway, as far as I know, the fight starts when you attack him, he can't speak to you beforehand. So we're gonna try shooting him up the ass like a complete coward to get as much damage off as we can. And I seem to have lost Jazago and Dover Bear somewhere along the way. So I'm going to try waiting and see if they come back, but if they don't, we're probably going to have to solo this guy, which I'm sure is going to be very, very difficult. Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> well, I guess it's just you and me, buddy. Pistols at dawn. Right, I'm going to get Dragon Aspect ready, and we're going to try with the crossbow, but we are not going to use steel bolts. That will not cut it. Right, we're going to put the Dragon Bone bolts on. We're going to sit behind him, quick save it, pop Dragon Aspect, shoot him in the back like a complete and utter coward, and hope for the best. I'm sure I'm going to die many, many times trying to do this. Die, scum! Oh, that did like nothing. Okay, time to run. Okay, he didn't one-shot me. That is surprising. I was really, really expecting to die in one hit. Come at me, bro. You know what we should try? We should try a uh, summon Durnavir. Come, Durnavir. Do my bidding. I said come. There we go. Okay, good. Right, we have Durnavir. And I hear Ancient Dragonborn. Gank him, team! <laughs> Get him! 
Wow, he's taking like no freaking damage. Delaria, if you could do something, bro, that would be fantastic. Come on, Delaria. We, we kind of need your help. <laughs> Me and H Dragon Ball. There we go. Right, uh, what else do we have? Yes, we'll conjure Bone Man. We'll put down number six, because God knows we ain't gonna need candlelight out here, are we? Die! Wow, that, that is ridiculous. That is freaking ridiculous. What the hell? He's like 5% dead. We're getting there. We're getting there. Not long now. Right, let's try the bow since I did give myself all the bow parts. And uh, whoa! Holy crap! Am I dead? He just shot me on the ground. I guess I wasn't dead. Am I dead now? No, I'm not. Wow, I'm actually alive. Color me shocked. Jesus, he just ragged all the shit. Wow, what's going on with my arm? Skyrim and it's many bucks. He ragged all the shit out of me. Right, so as I was gonna say, we should probably try the bow since I did give myself a bunch of the bow perks, so it's probably our most damaging thing. Get away from me, dude. I don't want to die to you. Is he regenerating? Because he's been on that HP for a very, very long time, and it would be real nice if you could take some noticeable damage, dude. That would be fan freaking tastic. Get away from me, you scare the crap out of me, dude. Something's behind me. What's going on? What's behind me? Whoa, what the hell was that? Something's pushing me. Is that Dover Bear? No, that is not Dover Bear. That's a dragon. Oh, I'm dead. There is no way I'm going to survive that. Yeah, we did. Okay, shoot you in the ass, run the hell away, and probably get knocked off the cliff and die. Jesus Christ. Oh God, what's happening to my bow? I really don't need that right now. I could really... Oh God, he's shooting at me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I think we're alive. We're alive. Narrowly. I almost went all the way off the cliff again. Right, uh, so apparently... Oh God. Apparently, if you shoot this dude off the edge of a cliff, he can take full damage. Whoa! I am so dead again. Holy sh... Am I alive? You can't be serious. I'm alive! What the hell? <laughs> My god! Anyway, what was I trying to say? Uh, yeah, apparently if you knock him off the edge of a cliff, he can take full damage. He's lost his aggro and everything I went so far. Come on, buddy, we're not done yet. If you knock him off a cliff, he does take full damage, but only if you hit him as he lands. Kind of like that. So, uh, that's what the grand plan is here. I'm going to try and shoot him off the edge of a cliff, and then fireball his ass when he's landing. And uh, we're going to hope for the best, and hope that he actually dies from that. Because I've been at this guy for about an hour or so now. I think something just knocked his weapon out of his hand. Probably one of the perks I have. That is very handy. Yeah, I've been at this for at least an hour now. And the closest I've come to killing him is when I half killed him because I knocked him off the edge and I fireballed him on the floor so he took the full damage. So that's what we've got to try and do. We're going to knock him down here and then fireball his ass. Take full damage. Did it work? I don't know. Yes, it did. See, he's nearly dead now. So if we can do that one more time, we might actually be able to kill this dude. And I've tried fighting him properly for a really, really long time. And I just can't kill him. Like, he is insanely overpowered. He starts healing himself, as you can see. He's healing now. This is ridiculous. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, what am I supposed to do here? That's right, buddy. Just stay there. No! Okay. Luckily, we got knocked up here. We're not down here. Okay, that was freaking scary. And apparently, my arm is glitching out again. Right, so we're going to try and Fusro Dar him one more time. And hopefully, he doesn't heal like crap in the meantime. And knock him off the edge and then fireball him as he lands. And if he takes enough full damage, he might die. Okay. Now, I've got to be very freaking accurate with this, because if I miss him, he's going to live. I think I did it. The red dot's gone. Is he dead? Yes, completed the Ebony Warrior. Why is he standing up? Okay, he's still dead, but he's just glitching. I thought he'd come back to life for a second. I was like, what the hell? You really aren't killable. Okay, well, that's the Ebony Warrior defeated. I think that is the final good quest we had left to do in Dragonborn. So this is going to be the final episode of Dragonborn. I know, I know, but all good things must come to an end. And like I say, there is going to be some mod playthroughs very soon, so don't you worry. This is not the end of Skyrim on my channel. It is merely the end of Dragonborn, and all good things must come to an end. And we had some fun, didn't we?
It was freaking awesome. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. I want to thank everyone that has joined me for the series. It was a hell of a lot of fun to make, a lot of fun to play, and this guy is really creeping me out. Let's just get rid of him. Disable. See ya, jerk ass. Apparently he's a red guard. Interesting. Anyhow, I want to thank everyone that joined me for this Let's Play. It was tons of fun to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, yeah, what did I think of Dragonborn overall? Overall, I think it was very, very good. Like I said, when I beat Mirak, I felt like the main quest was a bit short, a bit rushed. But as a complete package, it's awesome DLC. The only disappointment to me overall, really, besides the length of the main quest, was that I was hoping there would be more towns and things to explore. I mean, you know... The volcano erupted, so most of that got wiped out. I get, you know, lore-wise, it makes sense that there's only really Raven Rock left. But personally, I would have liked more towns to explore, as opposed to barrows and stuff like that. But that's really my only criticism. But yeah, anyway, overall, it was awesome. Thank you once more for joining me. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys next time for more Skyrim.